Hey YouTube, Nev's Tech Bits here. Today I want to show you a little video on some of the awesome things that you can do with an old Android smartphone. Now even if you have a really old Android smartphone, odds are you'll be able to use a lot of these things that I'm about to show you. These are actually practical things that I've used my old Android phones for in the past. What I've repurposed my old Android phones for. So all of this stuff is tested and true. Well, look. My first pick, my top pick, number one, is how to use your old Android phone as a GPS. What a lot of people don't realize about smartphones is 99% of them have a GPS unit built into them. Now that GPS unit, on its own, offline, can always tell you your latitude, longitude, and area from sea level. But the only reason that that doesn't help most of us is that they don't automatically have built-in maps to show you exactly where you are. Now, uh, maps aren't all exactly open source, and most maps are actually copywritten, so it makes it difficult for cell phone manufacturers to put that map on your system, especially offline. Uh, cell phone uh, providers or cell phone carrier providers would rather you download the maps as you go. Now, when you're on Google Maps, generally, you are downloading the maps as you go. And as you go, usually you're not on Wi-Fi exactly. So that goes over your uh, your data plan, uh, your cellular data plan. And I don't have to tell you guys that that is not cheap. So, now, if you use this offline GPS app, then you don't have to worry about spending money on that cellular data because you already have the maps downloaded onto your cell phone. But Cell phone GPS's are better than your regular standard GPS's in many cases because cell phone GPS's are assisted with uh, cellular tower information. My favorite app to use is NavFree and NavFree got an upgrade to NavMe. Right now you can see these two Android devices. I have the old version uh, nav free on there and I use that a lot and I have no problem at all with it. The next app I think you should take a look at is really useful again. Uh, sometimes it can be a bit glitchy, you gotta be patient, but uh, if you have old Androids it will be very nice. It is an app to use old Android phones as a security hub or security cameras individually. You have cell phones set up around your house recording sending information back to a singular Android phone. It's using the camera on your Android phone as a security camera. Now, in order to do this, we're going to need two apps. One of them is called TinyCam, and the other program that we're going to need is simply called IP Webcam. With these two simple, straightforward programs, we can turn any Android into either an IP cam or a uh, security system uh, hub. So these are the two apps that you'll be wanting, Tiny Cam Monitor and IP Webcam. Now you've already seen Tiny Cam Monitor. Tiny Cam Monitor is also a great way to view webcams from all around the world from famous locations. And the next thing we'll do is we will jump right into IP Webcam. Now I already have this thing set up. So you see the web uh, the web address you're going to need that address that's going to be very important there are multiple ways that you can connect to this but in this documentary I am going to be using TinyCam but I'll also show you how to use Internet Explorer right at the bottom we'll have an IP web address that we can use to see it elsewhere let me fire up my computer and I will just throw those numbers in the bottom into my browser and that's exactly what's going to come up. One second. So just like I said, go to your web browser and just type in the info 192.168.0. whatever that uh, system is. And uh, yeah, so you can check it out from your browser, from your web browser. There's multiple, multiple ways you can do this. But in this one occasion, we're going to use TinyCam because I find it to be the best. Now in order to add another camera to this system, we will have to do the following. Come over here to the left, manage cameras, and then we would come down, hit add a camera. Now you can name the cameras right here, you can say it's outside, kitchen, etc, etc. This is going to be real, real important. Go to camera vendor, 
and then go to IT webcam for Android just like that you're going to want the camera model to be generic and we'll just put in the IP host on that remember that was the numbers that was at the bottom of the picture when we were in IP webcam 192.168.1.1 0.20 okay and we come up to the top and we check uh, check the ping see if it's communicating in and it is and there we go I have to set this thing up for more camera for page oh my oldest Android's knocking out there there we go that's a, a bad room for a Wi-Fi connection so this is an excellent thing to do if you have plenty of old Android phones uh, some Android phones are a dime a dozen. Now the reason that I prefer TinyCam is because from within the app itself you can save all the data right on your memory card. Record settings. You can put everything yeah, wherever you want. You can tell it how much space to use, or even just to turn on if there's any motion detected. And yeah, so ultimately, that is how that is how you set up a security system with nothing but Android products. Next up, I want to introduce the MHL player, the mobile high definition link. You need one of these. You need an HDMI. And then you need some power. So there you see where the HDMI goes in, Rocketfish. That goes into the USB port, or your charge port of your Android. And then that's where you'd stick the power. Yep, mobile high definition link. See how it works. Now the reason why you might really want one of these is so that you could play Cody from your Android phone and play it directly into the TV or perhaps you have uh, text that you want to show at a conference meeting or something awesome like that because that totally happens. You could use one of these to put whatever's on your phone on the big screen TV. Turn a relatively good cell phone, old cell phone, into a Cody box. One of my personal favorite uses for having an old Android kicking around is just having it as a second uh, entertainment unit. While you're mobile, you might have noticed that your cell phone will waste a lot of batteries. If you're the type of person that's always on the train and always likes to listen or watch things, you'll notice your battery dries up really quick. So having a second phone on you dedicated to music, video games, or whatever will save your battery for your primary phone. Now, so uh, one of the big things that I use my phone for is music and away you go perfect you got your music and uh, if you're someplace and you want to listen to new music you want to download it permanently get this app get Videoder V-I-D-E-O-D-E-R with it you can download apps directly to or sorry with this you can download videos as mp3s directly to your unit. Download the mp3. And you'll see it pop up here. And then you get to play it well, when it's done. So it'll download and then it encodes. And with this you can download full videos or mp3 versions of them. And uh, that's good stuff but remember to, you gotta support the artist, right? Another thing you should look out for is on many cell phones, you actually have an FM radio chip on the inside of your phone, but you just don't have an app to use it with. So what you want to do is go to the Play Store and find an FM trap. You might have to jailbreak your phone. You might have to jailbreak your phone in order to get something, but uh, you will find tuners. Now, unfortunately, the Galaxy 5 doesn't have it. Apparently, they took it away around uh, the 4. So, of course, having a radio isn't too bad on your batteries. 
And uh, when you have one, uh, you should be warned that you have to have a headset in because that uh, the headset cord will become your antenna. Another awesome thing you can do with an Android is you can set up a dashboard cam so that you can record where you're going and uh, where you've been and other kinds of awesome stuff. So my favorite version is AutoGuard. There's, uh, there's multiple versions and uh, the reason I love AutoGuard right here is it shows you where you're driving like it shows you the video and it also shows you where you are on the road at the time at the time of that happening <clears throat> so it's pretty cool and you can export the video too but not the GPS there might be a way to export the GPS but I haven't found that yet but still the idea of having an old cell phone or any cell phone as a dashboard video camera is pretty cool and geez if you just want to mess around for the weekend <clears throat> it's good stuff Unfortunately, vertical is the only way to go for this buddy. Now this next bunch of apps that I have were reviewed and tested on a BlackBerry Z10, but they are Android apps and they do work for pretty much any Android. And uh, they're great ideas for old Android phones. Maybe at work you'd like a digital frame. If they'll let you on the Wi-Fi with one of these things, it'll eat up a bit of bandwidth, but uh, EarthCam is a great way to have to turn one of these units into a digital frame and you can uh, go ahead and watch like Niagara Falls all kinds of stuff I remember I had Niagara Falls on here once upon a time let's look at the Florida cam what's going on over in Florida right now nice nice so if you're in the middle of a cube farm and you got this thing plugged in, it can be nice just to see something, to see anything. I've read reports that if you have a digital frame pointed, a fake window kind of digital frame, looking out that uh, fake window, if you see a tree, and uh, hey, you like looking out the windows and seeing trees, seeing oceans, and stuff like that, if you have one of these fake ones up, it'll do the same positive things for your body as it would if you actually had a real frame, a real window looking out to the real universe. So yeah, check it out. Easy to find on the App Store. Uh, scanner Radio, I got the Pro version, but uh, the regular version's good too. With Scanner Radio, you can listen to radio channels. You can listen to radio channels uh, from police and fire departments from all over the place. Now, it is totally legal for anyone to listen to these things, but it is totally illegal for anyone uh, to say what they hear, to say what they find. I believe that's the law these days. So yeah, don't, uh, don't get anyone in trouble with this stuff. And if you hear something big and bad going on, uh, some big event where someone's done something really silly, uh, on a huge scale, do not post what you hear on the internet because the person they're looking for might be looking for information and hey, if they're savvy enough, they could, uh, they could find your information that you're posting online. So security concern, just make sure uh, you keep your mouth shut about what you hear. That's Nev's list of awesome things you can do with your old Android. If you like what you see, if you want more videos like this, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.